Good morning, guys, from me and her. She just showed up today, actually. She just got into town. And we are headed to Pasadena Architectural Salvage this morning. I know the proper dimensions for the doors upstairs in the main living room area. And I've been working on the living room, as you guys know. That's one of the spaces that I'm also simultaneously working on in relation to the kitchen. I don't know why I haven't measured the doors, but I finally measured them. I'm gonna head over there just because I have some extra time this morning. I wanna just do a little bit of shopping and just searching around for inspo. It just felt like a good morning to do that, you know? And then we will head back home, but hopefully Hopefully we could see if they have any glass doors or just something for that space. I'm also looking for a small stained glass window for the little nook that's like off the living room. So yeah, that's what we're looking for. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of oh, like these guys. But those are actually really yeah. pretty. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. The stained glass area. Oh my gosh, that door's so pretty. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm kind of in shock at the moment. I was looking at the stained glass windows and there was two really large ones in the back and I pulled them out. They are the exact width, 55 inches wide and they are 80 inches tall. The doors, 55 by 81, that's the door jam. This would fit if I added one inch to the bottom. Could you imagine these in that living room? The only issue is, is that they're not gonna provide the most light. It's really gonna be something I'm gonna have to try out. Now the price is $750 per, which I think is a great deal, like that's, $750 for a whole door of glass from 1920. He said this is salvage from a 1920s home. Same era as mine. I'm just like freaking out right now, you guys. Look at this. Look how pretty. I think I have to get them. I got to. I have to figure out what to do with these, you guys. Even if I use them somewhere else in the house. Like, I I'm going to need to figure this out. She pulled out this drawer of vintage latches. What are these called again? Casement latches? Casement, Casement latches. latches. I feel like just like a brass one like this would be perfect. So we opted for this latch, and then we're gonna find a surface bolt, a vintage one to kind of go with it as well. I mean, honestly, this one matches really well. We also found the surface bolt, which looks like this. So this is gonna be the latch and the surface bolt, and this just very kind of patinaed metal. I just love all of this. Like, look at how interesting this little latch is compared to just your traditional one. It's all hand forged too from the 20s. So pretty. Little turn door handle. They also have the prettiest lighting in this store. I shared it in a past video, but I kind of just touched on it quickly. Like, I love this for like a bathroom or like a bedroom. So because those were windows previously, they don't have door hardware installed on them. And it's gonna be a bit of a challenge trying to find proper door hardware because it does have a very, very small little space there because they weren't made to be doors. But I think I'm gonna make it work, guys. We are going to make this happen. We're trying to fit the doors in the car. <laughs> Do we think they're gonna fit? Next to the huge sink, the stone sink. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. How did I freaking find those windows? Okay, you guys, I have to let everything out. Ah! I cannot believe I just found these doors. I think I was in a slight state of shock, if you will, when I was inside, but we got them in the car. I am heading home or to the house right now. I cannot wait to see what these are going to look like in the living room. Of course, I'm not gonna put them up in the doorway yet, but I at least could lean them against the door jam and hopefully get an idea for what they look like. Look where I am, Bortola. I came back this morning to check out the colors and look how pretty the layout is today. I mean, I don't know if it's changed at all, but it just looks extra pretty. So we went through with some of the darker browns. I looked at the swatches and these are some of the options here. So this is an Eastwood color that's already on the wall and it's just still too light, still too light of a tone. I think I just wanna go darker in general. Leaning between these three options here and the one that I like the best is this one here. I feel like it looks the most like velvety, has like a really nice tone to it and it's just a slight bit lighter than both of these and so that is the one i think i'm gonna go with guys this one is called antlers looks like this antlers lime wash it's just a really pretty taupey beige lime wash color
I brought the doors up from downstairs by myself. I am just eager to look at these in front of the door. So this is our door section here. And something I want to mention to you guys too is that we actually realized, or I actually realized that this probably used to be a window because the door actually has about eight inches below where it wouldn't be if this was an actual proper door that you would walk in and out of but this really leads to nothing there's it's like a drop off on the other end so i think this basically used to be a window but they transformed it to doors that way they can open it up and let the breeze in which i have been doing every day i work in here like the breeze that comes in through the doors is amazing i'm literally out of breath let's get these doors over here i also have my mom because she wanted to see everything too okay let's see mom are you excited yes super excited I just hope that I didn't like measure wrong or something. Those are so pretty. Oh. So good. This is hard work. I can't even believe you found something like that. That's crazy. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's the same size. It's the same size as the door. I was so scared they were gonna shift to the colors of the room. They look so good. I just lowered the brightness, guys, so you can actually see it. Look at those windows! I, I am dead. These are beautiful. That looks so good. It looks so much better in person. The camera's not picking up all of the dimension. It's kind of blown out at the moment. Yeah, I feel like the actual stained glass that's in here currently is affecting the way that it's gonna look. I kinda wanna open up one of these and then put this here. Okay, that I feel like you can actually see. I'm so scared it's gonna fall. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, you guys! My <gasps> house again and it is peak golden hour right now you guys like we have the sun shining in so i just want to put the doors in front one last time just so we can see and i will make sure they do not fall that door falling on camera was the scariest thing i think i've ever had happen to me so that's great but luckily it is in perfect tact still but let me tell you what we're gonna be up to now. From this angle, it probably looks like I'm gonna start painting, but no. What we are working on is the windows. Now, I kind of forgot about the windows. I was like, wait, I'm painting the walls in here, but what am I doing with the windows? And then I realized to myself, is this original trim? Is this old trim? Like, what is this? So I decided to do a little bit of digging and here's what I ended up finding out. I was up here painting the wall and look, you guys, I was able to scrape a little bit off and it looks like even if this trim is not original, and it's just wood, I would so much prefer a wood trim than this white painted trim. This trim, this exact window trim, is throughout the entire home. Every single window has the same trim throughout the entire space, all of them. However, the windows were redone a few years back. Now this home was built in 1929, so the windows that they put in a few years back are newer. And I don't know if the trim that encases said new window is old or if it's new, but the paint on the casing is cracked in a bunch of places and it looks older. So to me, it does seem like the original trim. But we are gonna wanna go ahead and test this to make sure that the paint doesn't have lead in it. So let's use this lead test. I got this at Ace Hardware, but I will link them below for you guys. So this is what our little lead tester looks like. Sorry about the lighting in here at the moment, but it wants us to squeeze A and B. So crush A, crushed it, crushed B, shake. I'm just gonna do a little a little testy test. Our sample has been tested and it looks like it's yellowy orange, not pink or red. So I don't think we have lead in the paint, you guys. I hope I did that right. I think I did. 
I did exactly what it said. So here is the product that we're going to be using on the windows. This is Citra Strip. I've actually never used this before. I've seen it everywhere, but I've never used it. And I got the stripping paste because it seemed a lot thicker than the stripping gel. And I figured that'd be easier to paint on the actual trim. So really all I'm gonna do is open up the windows, make sure it's ventilated, paint this on a thick layer. How strange is this product's texture? Like, it's like gloopy. We are ready to put on the citrus strip. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. I think I'm just gonna leave this on them. Alrighty, we are on phone camera this morning to check out how our stripping of the paint went. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. I see people do this all the time where they're like scrubbing it off with the plastic. <gasps> that looks so bad. Oh, wow. I grabbed a little scraper so we can see what we're working with. As you can see, we haven't yet hit the wood surface. Um, we still have some paint layers on here. So I'm thinking I might actually try the heat gun method because I was doing some research last night and the heat gun method seems to work really well on old paint. But I'm gonna have to come back and do that a little later because today I am shooting the Lone Fox Fall Collection, which launches today, guys. If you are watching this video, the Fall Collection is live over on the website. I've been working on this for multiple months behind the scenes. You guys, I put so much time and work into the site to not promote it as much as I do. And I'm going to try to do that more because I should. Gardening's happening outside at the moment, but just got here and look at the fall collection. This is a first look for you guys, but it is gonna be live on the site today. There is so much fun stuff. We have pottery. This is a pepper grinder, salt and pepper shaker, some vintage wood stools, bells, different decor core pieces, vases, there's kitchen goods. There is a whole bunch. So this is what we are shooting today and I am so excited to get started, but I thought I'd give you guys like a little look at the layout. Oh my gosh, and there's so many throw blankets as well, but those aren't on the table. We are looking at the first photo. It looks so pretty actually. I love the light in the background of the mirror. For the whole frame, you know? Yeah, the, the frame of it, and then do like a push in, and then maybe like side, and then just like some details. Can't stop thinking about the way you look the fall collection. Currently, we're doing a little bedroom setup. Here's our bedroom setup. How does it look? It's beautiful. I love this table lamp. It's so cute. Yeah. And it's fun to work with people with like no. Hey. Hey. Um. When you get a minute, send me and let me know if I can schedule them. Yeah. So scared it's gonna break. So I thought of this display for the fall blankets. These are a couple of them, and we have a leaf blower for a little bit of this. <laughs> This morning was sharing with you guys some of the progress from the workers that have been doing the plaster work at the house. So let me flip around the camera and share with you what's happened. 
So if you guys remember before, this archway actually had kind of like a cornered off section here and they actually ended up um, making the archway taller. It felt a little short to me, so we ended up going back, reworking it a little bit. And now the archway shape is so much more ideal. I feel like it also references the arch that's in the living room leading into the nook a lot better. So this one's looking perfect. And then this one over here also got a little rework up here. It was kind of a bit wonky on one side, so we wanted to just really round it out. And so that's what's happening in there but in here as you guys saw the drywall it's all been repaired or almost all been repaired so far and also the archway has been added into the laundry room so previously this was just a simple kind of squared off doorway and I realized like I'm never gonna close that door I really like an easy flow into rooms and so I thought this would just be really nice to have this archway leading directly into the laundry room um, and then you can kind of walk right back out here so yeah all of the drywall is being repaired and ready for tile but I'm currently just waiting for the countertop guy to come over because we're going to be doing some measurements and I'm going to be telling him kind of some of the ideas of what I want to do with the countertops. I'm hoping that all of this stuff being everywhere isn't going to be the biggest problem, but I feel like we might be able to move some if needed. Omar is here from Luxstone Design um, and we are going to go through and kind of, I'm going to tell him my ideas for the countertop. I want to do the entire countertop so as it currently is and I'm going to keep the same sink, but I do want to bring it up the backsplash and I kind of want to cut it around the windows. How high do you want to go on the backsplash area? Um, Probably around like 18 inches. Okay, and then here there used to be like a window frame. Yeah like a, a wooden one. Uh-huh. What do you want to do there? Are we gonna run it all the way up to the window flush or uh, I, How's it gonna work? There? I think probably Yeah, probably flush on the window. You want to go all the way up to yeah. the window? Yeah, kind of the sizing here It can also change a little bit. Of like, course. Like I'm totally depending, depending on the slab size. Bit, correct. Yeah, yes. like what we could like play around with maybe. Yeah, because right now the uh, cabinet is uh, standard this is a 26 inch counter. And then something I wanted to ask if we could do too is like the piece that comes here. So this is right, might where it gets a little confusing. But the piece that comes here, can we? Can it also come down here? Of course. Like all the way here, and then 18 inches up from here. Sure. We could definitely do that. Yeah, we'll go uh, 18 inch height. Yeah. And then we'll bring it up here. Mm -hmm. down here. So it's like seamless, a nice. seamless piece. Yeah. And you same thing with this side. Here? Yeah. Same okay. exact thing with this side, and then just. The, the piece across the back as well, and then the two side counters, like a coffee bar. I think we should go marble, marble. Marble, marble. I think yeah. so too. Yeah, probably because look really good. It, when people walk in, they're gonna see the counter. It's also counter. like, it also kind of make it, point, yeah. I agree, I think marble, marble here as well. And then we'll leave these as panels, because no, no back. Yeah, no, we don't need anything yeah, here, because I don't even there. want the light. And then you're gonna have some LED strip lights, or yeah, yeah. beautiful. Uh, we could put in the dimensions, for example, this is 26, and then we just measure this, that way, you know. Yeah, we can like literally map it out. But yeah, when we get the slabs, mm -hmm. we'll be able to map this Oh, so out. this is the entire cut for the countertop, and then this is the backsplash cut. C correct. And then essentially you would do the little window cutouts too, but figure that C out. Correct, we would template it out. Yeah, template it. Template it. Got it. it. To be accurate. Perfect. And so now I just gotta add the ones on the other side and then the little coffee nook. Omar just ended up leaving and I have done a little bit of work on the window trims, which I haven't really shared with you guys. I actually have this window trim completely stripped. Well, pretty much completely stripped. Let me share with you. If you guys can see, it is completely stripped. However, there are just like some sections that I need to go through and like fine tune and get all the little bits off. But I cannot tell if this wood is original. I can't tell if this wood is real. It almost has this like fake quality to it where it looks like it's been painted on which I do know that wood's been painted in the past I ended up actually stripping this window one night really really late um, while I was here so we're gonna start working on this window what I did was I actually painted the entire coat of the citrus strip on left it on here for 24 hours and this is me coming back after 24 hours I just tested with a scraper as to how much of the paint actually got off and we really did get all the way down to the wood I was able to get this off and the best way to get everything off from here is actually using a heat gun I found so a lot of tutorials online of renovating or you know stripping old original trim they use heat gun because basically it heats up the under layer of paint and you're able to pretty easily strip it off you're just going to turn it on and then just let it heat up the surface a bit and you're going to start seeing the paint actually boil and then as you guys can see it pretty much just glides off the heat me like melts it away
Now on the window that I finished over here, this one, I didn't put the citrus strip on for 24 hours prior. I only left it on for about half of an hour. So I had such a hard time getting the paint off even with the heat gun. But after leaving the citrus strip on for 24 hours and using the heat gun, the paint is gliding off. So I'm very, very happy I left this and didn't go straight into this. I just wrapped up this window here. It took me about two and a half hours to fully strip the entire window. And now we have the right window over here and the left window strip. Now the trim that is around here definitely was added when this particular door was installed because it is newer. I could definitely tell that it does not even actually match the shape or like the style of this trim, I guess. So this is newer. So when these doors go back, I'm just gonna have to get new trim to match this wood tone. And something else I wanna ask you guys, which I kind of already did. If any of you guys happen to know what kind of wood this is or if it could have been original to the 1929 home, totally let me know in the comments below because some of you might be more insightful than I am. I just don't exactly know and I'm not sure how I wanna finish this. Like, I don't know if I should go through and strip off this layer, this like top darker layer. However, I enjoy the darker color of the wood. So I don't know if I need to strip the entire thing, restain it. What would you guys do in this scenario? Inside of the wood trim, I'm gonna be painting everything either a dark brown to match the wood trim or painting it a black. I'm not too sure yet and I'm still researching the best way to paint metal windows. So those will be painted though on the interior. So the wood would be trimmed on the outside outside and then paint it on the inside. So this is the point that we're currently at. As you can see, we have the left and right windows stripped and that is kind of what the view is looking like. Back in the car, it is rather sunny at the moment, and I'm heading to pick up my friend Marco, and you guys actually might know Marco because I did his apartment makeover a while back on the channel, if you guys remember. I'm heading to pick him up right now because I'm actually going to an event tonight, and I'm bringing you guys with me. I would love to know if you guys would like to see more of like my everyday kind of life mixed into these house vlogs as well, because a lot of the progress of the house is going to be done kind of vlog style, you know? Like, I'm really just creating and sharing with you guys as I go, and I would love to know if and I and I and I'd really and I'd love to know if you find things like you know me sharing the shoot yesterday for the fall collection or sharing like just little event snippets here and there or things kind of outside my usual content if that's something that you guys would like to see mixed into the house videos of course 95% of the content is always gonna be home decor or house content or something related to that but when I do little things like this is it something that you guys would like to see let me know in the comments I would love to know we have Marco in the car in oh left onto National uh, uh, okay you guys probably remember Marco though because I did his apartment a while back and since then you've been like killing it. Marco's so good. He has such a good eye, like such a good eye for design and he's been doing like little makeovers in his apartment. So you guys have to check out his TikTok because you're a professional designer. He knows all the trendy items. Yeah. Look at how beautiful this looks. Wow, this is truly what dreams are made of. And my video title, I found heaven on earth in my last video. This was accurate, look how beautiful. Around the ancient olive tree. Love this little arrangement guys it's so cute these little like almost daisies mixed in with this greenery never in our wildest dreams did we think that we would be standing here one year into building this brand in them um, or other things on the table please take whatever you like as you leave it's a gift from us there's also a cabinet as you exit even more tiny olives in french pots take them to 
too. Just take anything you want, really. Um, and have a great time. Thanks for coming. Guys, check out this front row spot. We're just gonna sit in the back here. <laughs> Okay, we got some late night pot. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> late night pot. It is now Thursday the following morning or the day that this video is going up and I did not outro the video. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this one. And I cannot believe that door fell on camera. I just, I truly can't. It's probably one of the scariest things. I did have this one electrical issue one time, but that one I'll keep to myself. But besides that, guys, I hope that you loved today's video. Um, I hope that you also love the fall collection that is now shoppable over on LoneFox.com. If you head over to the site, it is going live literally same time as this video. So make sure to pick up any pieces that you might like to style around your place for fall and winter. I feel like the pieces totally transition into winter as well. A lot of them are really universal that you can keep in your decor year round. I just tried to add some like fall themes, colors, textiles, and pieces that can just really enhance the feeling of fall. So so yes, and in the next one, we are going to test out that Portola paint that I got. I am so excited. I'm actually gonna head over to the house right after this video is done. I feel like I haven't filmed in the apartment in like two months, which is such a strange feeling because I've been at the house so much. But I will catch you all in my next one. Bye!